With freezing temperatures keeping us cold outside, one of the best <laughs> ways to warm up is from the inside out. And here to heat things up with spicy cocktails is the deputy editor of Wine Enthusiast magazine, Mike Dawson. Welcome to Revise 360. Great How are to you? have you yeah, here. Thanks for having me. Let's spice some things up, right? Yes, We'd love to we spice to. things up. And you've been doing that for about 16 years, almost two decades. Yeah, I'm a very lucky man. I get to, uh, get to learn a lot about cocktails, get to obviously taste a few, and... Yeah. Uh, it's been fun, yeah, and so not spicy. Not a bad job. No, not a bad job at all, like, <laughs> so lucky. So how um, new is this trend to have spicy drinks? Yeah, the, adding spice, you know, and adding sort of texture, too, to drinks um, has just been sort of like a new trend right now, and, you know, it just adds something different to sort of like the sweet and sort of acidic drinks that you normally have, like, at a bar. Yeah. So a little heat can, like, sort of, you know, really sort of sensual things up. Definitely, oh. and you're actually going to show us how to make some of these spicy Yeah, cocktails. we can do, like, a really quick drink right now, I okay. think, and uh, yeah. something that has, it, you know, de depends on what you guys like. Do you guys like rum, right? I like a little let's bit of Let's do a little bit of everything. Sure. Cool, let's do it. A little bit of everything, yeah, that type everything. of day, huh? <laughs> yeah, we should make some. Look, I brought shakers for you guys. Okay. All right. So what we can do here is just sort of get your shaker top off. All right. Right? There we go. First step. Right. Like, there we that just one use this is one. A little step. Yeah. We'll make two. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll make two. Great. So what we're going to do first is we're going to add a little rum. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. There you go. Now, how much should we be adding? A little rum. Just a a little, little rum, right. <laughs> just a little bit. Oh, well, is that a little? Okay. Maybe a little bit more. You say what your little is. Okay. And so what we're going to do then is we're going to add some sugar. Okay. Just one sugar cube. A sugar cube. So now, cubes why not? better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Scoop. Yeah. Just one little sugar cube. Just sort of add some texture and some sort of grit to the drink. It'll oh, be really nice. Okay. okay. Add a few chunks of watermelon that we've oh, cut up. Really? Oop, okay. Kind of That's spilling interesting. It there. Yeah. So this is a healthy drink, everyone. It's, it's <laughs> healthy is an interesting idea. I mean, they, you know, there's definitely fruit in this, so it's Healthier, like. Oh, Healthier. Okay. I don't think that this is that healthy. So. <laughs> um, and what we're gonna do there is just add this. We're gonna just sort of okay, shake so this up. Okay. So the watermelon and the rum. That's what you've got in there. Yeah, we got watermelon yeah. and rum. And just gonna sugar. sort of shake this up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, shake. Just fuse it up. What we've also added too, when we added that rum, we actually already put in some watermelon juice. Oh. So it's going to be sort of sweet and uh, just sort of like I, like I said, add that texture. Seems like that would work for summer as well, because watermelon, of course, works well in the summertime. Definitely. Very refreshing. But you can always get watermelon year, watermelon year round. But adding yeah. this sort of spicy bitters, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple dashes of bitters. Mm. Really nice in there. You can smell how strong mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. Just a lot. And then what we, the secret ingredient right here is going to be this great Thai bitters. It's literally, if you like Thai food, that's what. Yes. Okay, now, where can we get that? You can get it at most any, you know, pretty good liquor stores around town. Okay. You can definitely okay. get it. Yeah. What's different? What's the difference between the Thai and the regular? This one is just sort of a classic bitters. Um, okay. And it literally, if you've ever had Campari or something like that, you can think of it as like a very concentrated Campari. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add definitely some dashes of this. Okay. Like just a little bit. Oh, there you go with your little. Or a little oh, there bit little. more. That's little. <laughs> 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 I'm afraid to taste I know, this right? Now. No, it looks kind of gross right now, but I trust me, it's it been really nice. It actually looks good. It just smells very strong. Now, what we've got here is simple syrup, and you can just make this at home with, you know, one to one. Things up right. a little bit. Okay. It's one sugar to one water, if you can imagine. Oh, so one okay. cup of sugar to one cup of water. Okay. Just add a little bit of that. A little bit yeah. better. Yeah. I love your littles. And so <laughs> what we've got here, just sort of in our quick little rig, we're going to shake this up. Okay. okay. Shake it up really there you good. Go. Shake that What's good. this one called, by the way? What's that? What's this called? This one is called the Spicy Valentine. Ah. Spicy. That's and this is from the guys from the Mulberry Street. If you've ever been to uh, Mulberry Street yes. Bar, yeah. So we're gonna pour that out. <laughs> Who's gonna be our taster? I think that's gonna be Sharon. <laughs> Fair She's enough. For me. Us. I can't handle it. <laughs> now you see that we're not, we're not quite this. done. We're not oh, quite we're not. done. Okay. <laughs> I'm oh, jumping the gun. She's gonna excited. Add one She's like, lemon. Drink. <laughs> and we're just going to sort of put the lemon Ooh. around that. Kind of oh, dirties the glass up, but okay. right. just going to add a little bit of flavor. There we go. So right. that's interesting. So no lemon wedge on it. Right, no lemon yeah, wedge. And what little... you can do is we'd pour this out normally a little bit higher up, mm -hmm. okay. just so you can have a little bit more fun. You so go. you don't include the chunks of, uh, of watermelon? No, we don't want to include the chunks of watermelon okay. because, oh. gran and granted, you really kind of want to de-seed your watermelon too, but... Uh, um, gotcha. So, so you don't choke on that. So you don't choke on that. But if you want to give it a try... Yeah, yeah go okay. give it a try. Let's do it. It's going to be a little stiff, but I think you'll be okay. Now, if she passes out during the segment, we'll know why. <laughs> How strong Whoa. is it? Whoa! Just a little? <laughs> it's, it's very, very strong. It's very strong. But it's good. Now, if you wanted this on the rocks... Right. So it's not so strong, could you do that too? You definitely 
cleaned it, you want to give yeah. that a try too? Could you sure. taste the spiciness sure. in it? Very spicy. Very spicy. Can I just yeah. give it a try? In a good way. Let's just okay. give me a try too. Oh, he's got to make sure the drink is right. <laughs> make sure you did it right, right? How'd you do? Oh, that's very spicy. You if, you, sip. if you can imagine, I tell you, I think that that's what, that, that drink's for you. It's a good yeah. spicy drink, yeah. yeah. And what you can do normally is I mean, is it's just, sweet and spicy at right. the same time. And okay. what you want to do is add just a few rocks. I don't know if you guys noticed how quick that was to make. Yeah, really. Fine. And okay. you've got the heat back of it. You've got mm -hmm. a little bit of the fruit up front. Yeah. So it's like this great little mix for people that, you know, that love a little bit of sweet, but also like a little heat. So, so if you really want nice. it not quite as strong, but you still want the spice, right. how do we do it? I would definitely probably maybe add some water, but this okay. is how it's supposed to be drunk like a martini in sense. Oh, it's going to be very concentrated. Yeah. But I tell you, it's a lot of people are buying that drink and they yeah, love it. Yeah, on one of those cold nights, it's perfect. Yeah, now, it's now unfortunately, we don't have time to get to more of the drinks, so where can we get more of your tips on how to make the yeah, perfect you guys spicy go, drink? Yeah, you guys can go to winemag.com, mm -hmm. um, and on there, there's a ton of recipes for this. Spicy cocktails are just keyword search it, and it'll be right there. Okay. And I have to ask you, what is this beautiful bottle over here? What we've done here, this is a great, yeah. this is a great bourbon. Actually, it's uh, made It'll in New York. Oh. Uh, made in upstate New York. Okay. And what we've done, and the reason why it's so red is because we've infused strawberries with it. And, you know. Another healthy drink. Right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I wish. like that. Okay. But yeah, definitely. A li it's healthy tasting. That's there right. you go. Okay. When the commercial, you have to make me a version happy tasting drink. How about that? Absolutely. Okay. We'll take it right Thank you that. so much, Mike. We appreciate it. Oh my gosh. Thank thanks you. for having me. It's right. fun. And we'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360. One Cheers. More sip of it.